again, let's look at the unusual. 1980 commuter, uh, commuter car, C-O-M-U-T-A, commuter car. This thing is a pip. Of course, back then, we always ran lead acids. Check out those six volt lead acids. Golf, golf cart specialty deep cycle. Near vehicles. PA title. Full electric. Very, very interesting little vehicle. They were not really great or anything like that. But they were quite interesting because, again, remember 1980 for an electric uh, is really pioneering uh, coming in. You can see more batteries sticking out the tail end. Is that wild? Six volt batteries only, uh, dynamic load tester. This way you can uh, check out all your batteries, I guess. That's a pretty remarkable little scale over there. Charges off of a 110. I love that, Levittown. Just common stuff. General Electric DC motor. Uh, 4,000 RPM, uh, 6 horsepower, 48 volts, uh, neat stuff, neat stuff. Acceleration 0 to 35 in 19 seconds. The range is up to 50 miles. That's it. Remember, this was a pretty primitive uh, time for electrics. But, boy, is that interesting to see one. Asking 3800 Check out the Sunbeam Alpine. This is really something special. You just don't see these at all. This one is really in sad shape, unfortunately so. And there's no price on it. Now, normally I don't check out cars without a price because if it's for sale, it should be for sale. Uh, you can see everything's got... I'm sorry, this is a Hillman. Pardon me, pardon me, that's even more unusual. The interior's uh, gone, floorboards gone. Front floorboards have air conditioning. The wood's still there, but it's pretty dry rotted, missing pieces. It's got the trafficators. It's got uh, some crazy taillights grafted on. Total project or parts car. Very, very interesting. Mid 50s Hillman. Pretty cool. Over here at the Fall Carlisle Car Corral. We've seen this girl a number of times, but I am sorry. It's just so cool to see it here again. Still for sale. 74, 74 Ford. Uh, Gion, G-U-I-O-N Roadster is sporting a uh, 200 cubic inch straight six automatic, handcrafted uh, and it's got a 48 Ford frame and chassis. But look at this thing. Now, of course this is the big attention getter. That is doohickey and that is a supercharged doohickey which runs the Framistat at high RPM, which is very, very important. It truly is. And you can see how serious it is because it's got hoses coming from it, so you know it's gotta be really top notch. <laughs> that thing's fake and just makes a lot of cool uh, conversation. I love the pipes. Look at the way how this thing is constructed with all the cool bits and pieces and such. Is that neat? This is such a remarkable build. I absolutely love it. Just love it. The dash is uninspired, but it is still cool. It is still cool. Because just look down that hood. This would be a real neat drive. All sorts of nice little custom touches like that. You've got your classic trunk back here. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. You can see the little automatic on the floor, so it's a real kitty car to drive. Is that cool? I love the side intake over there. Definitely, definitely neat. 
and of course don't forget the beautiful hood ornament well v8 that's pushing it a little bit it is a six pretty cool asking uh, 8,450. What do you think, folks? This is definitely worth it because you're not going to see yourself coming and going.